Stephen, we're closed. How would you expect him to know that when you were not only just walking into the place, but the sign wasn't even changed to close before Stephen got there? The bits, the bits, the bits, the bits. They're not even hitting the table that hard. Why does it sound like it's being hit so forcefully? The close sign turns into this mustard looking mess when only this far away. But in an earlier shot, you can at least make out the word open on the sign from much further away. With how small some of these bits are, I'm surprised none of them are falling back through the container into the fryer. The sun goes down, and the second sun gets bigger and bigger in the sky. Has Pearl seriously not taught Steven about the moon yet? You'd think that'd be a priority considering Pearl's obsession with space. Look at the size of it! I had no idea these things were so big! Some of us are trying to protect humanity. Where were you? God forbid they drop everything they're doing when they likely didn't even think to look up in the sky. Both of Garnet's shoulder pads are the same color in this shot. The only thing powerful enough to destroy it is a light cannon that belonged to Rose Quartz. That's entirely bullshit if you watch even just 10 more episodes of this series and learn that fusion exists. That makes this just as effortless. Even if she did leave it with him, he probably broke it, or lost it, or dropped it in the ocean by now. A, how does one lose a cannon? You'd have to make an active effort to do so. B, what motive would Greg have to drop one of Rose's most prized possessions into the fucking ocean? Her shoulder pads are the same color in this shot, too. Dad, it's me! Are you in there? We have to save the world! Dad! Why did it take that much to trigger the car alarm? Greg looks like a thumb. The place that Greg is standing here has a pretty big puddle in this shot. But then in this shot, there's no puddle there. A magical storage unit! Not exactly, but some would say there's magic inside. Oh god. If I'm going in there... I'm gonna need some gear. Just crawl through, it's really not that big a deal. This shot is drawn so terribly that Steven's teeth look like a gigantic pair of lips. I can't unsee it, so neither will you. This music track is genuinely really good. It's a shame so few people talk about it. There it is! Did no one think to tell Steven what the cannon actually looked like? I get that it's kinda hard to miss once you find it, but Steven knows next to nothing about Rose or her weapons at this point. Though to be fair, Steven somehow mistakes a bag and a drum as a fucking cannon, so he might just be a lost cause right from Jump Street. Also, what use would Greg have for this bongo? He doesn't exactly strike me as the type to produce Yacht Rock. When I came to play a concert here in Beach City, no one showed up except... An alligator! That thing's giving me the willies. You guys can enlighten me on this because I genuinely don't know. Did this line need to be changed in the UK or anything like that? Because unless I'm mistaken, British slang would lead me to believe Greg is saying that eyeball is giving him flaccid dicks. It's too big for the van. Your van literally pulled out the entire fucking garage. You're full of shit. If every pork chop were perfect, we would have hot dogs. I know I'm not that tall. I know I'm not that smart. This is the first good vocal song in the show. Steven looks like he's doing many naughty things when he gives this face. So many I can't even list them all. And frankly, Greg doesn't look much better. Throw me again. I think I'm cracking it. Hey Steven said that without even closing his mouth. Let me drop my van into your heart. Let me drop my van. Did nobody think that this wasn't exactly the most fitting song for this situation? I don't know how it works. Okay, miss, I know all of Rose's secrets. And seriously, did Rose really not think it was a good idea to let the gems in on how a war weapon works, just in case the temple gets attacked while she's away or something like that? Uh. I have no words. It's okay, Steven. We'll figure out something else. I don't think you have enough time to do that. If every poor chop were perfect, we wouldn't have hot dogs. Imagine having that stupid of a phrase activate weapons of war. There's loving someone, and then there's just blind obsession, and this is bordering on that. In this shot, the cannon is sitting inside the wagon, but from this shot onwards, the wagon just disappears. Mr. Smiley's tongue is green in this shot. 
Steven! You just saved most of Beach City. Sorry about that! What? If every pork chop were perfect... I love it! If every pork chop were perfect, we wouldn't have the willies.